tell me now. Welcome back to Dyson with Death, where we have the correct overlays. All um, the time. Oh, wow. They're, yeah, there we go. Always punctual. Yeah. Oh, your volume is like, beautiful. Your though. volume two seconds before we went live. So <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. There we go. That's perfect. So, cool. So dusk, you. Dusk is setting on the plains of Redport. West of Redport. West of Redport. Tyrus Bellows is facing down a trio of lionesses. Mm hmm. You're in the, the barony of Cliffside, oh. if that matters to you at all. And I, I leap to action before the lionesses know it hit them. Oh, shit. And I go shoot. straight for the biggest one. And Are I look you... her square in the eyes. And I say, Mama, get out of town. And I attempt to cause fear on the lioness. I don't know if. I don't know if animals are affected by my presence, but I, I meet, meet her eye contact and get big and physical and attempt to scare the lions off. Okay. The, there are three of them. One of them so is the only, the only the one is affected, and I went right. for whoever I guessed would be the biggest one. So okay. maybe roll all their HP and pick the one with the most HP. <laughs> and then that one running in terror. Uh, the lioness gives a growl as you kind of get bigger. And as you discharge your magical energies, the, the cat goes... And does like a 180 and just bounds away. The other two lionesses... Crouch low for a moment. On this, I, sh I shout and try and frighten off the other two non magically. Uh, the other two look draw a sword <laughs> in the process. and wary, and they make a morale check. And the lion's morale is average, and so they too flee in panic by the of the of the well armed human that scared off one of their pack members. Um, the lions retreat into the into the plains, never to be seen from for the rest of this day. And since I know that that was my one encounter for the day, I'm going to take full advantage of the situation, be exceptionally active now. <laughs> <laughs> it frightens me a little bit, and I go back to the to this okay. shack and rest again. Cool. But I feel a little safer knowing that there are like these m beasts on the plains. Like it means that no townsfolk are likely to wander in and find me in this shack. With on my way back, I do get my foot and just sort of tuck the child's bones in there. They've been picked clean by the vultures, right? Uh, and the dogs too. While we're at it, yeah. What? what I'm sorry, I missed that. You're cut out for a moment. What are you doing with the bones? Oh wow, Zoom's right. It came with a little warning. It was like your internet connection is unstable. Yeah. Um, and you couldn't hear what I said. Uh, what What is it that you do with them again? I I hide the child's bones beneath dirt. Okay. I bury I bury the bones. Is what I was getting at. Cool. But but I yeah yeah. And the dogs the dogs do no bones in the in the yard. All right. Uh, the day passes pretty uneventfully. Oh, I guess the evening yeah. passes uneventfully, and you come into the next when you wake, day. When you wake up at noon, the days go by pretty quick. <laughs> Amen. Um, next day, uh, do you travel out? Do you do, you do anything? So next particular? time at 7, I'm quite bold. I probably wake up early mm -hmm. and sit out on the plains. I sit on the tallest hill nearby, like that first one that I scouted out the first day. Sort of look down on the shack and then east to Redport and scheme. Scheme. Uh, is the sun shining? What time of year is it? It is autumn. So is it hot, cold? It is cool. You have a, a nice... Well, hold on. Let's take a look at the map and the, the wind charts. Ah, uh, you have a... a a warm breeze blowing in from the, the plains and the hills out to the ocean. Um, so it, it's, a uh, it's a little warm. In the evenings, you get a nice offshore breeze coming in that cools you down. But during the day, it's the, the heat of the inland just sweeps out to the, out to the ocean. Uh, think of yourself in, um, oh shit, in Buellton during the autumn. Okay. Or Santa Yeah. 
Santa Anna's. Santa Anna's. Um, cool. Give me a. Where is the? I need you to give me a perception check. It's like all I've rolled this episode. Not good. So time. I'm like basking in my glory. I'm smelling my stank. I got it going on. I'm all like swagged up in my in my spiked leathers, sitting on this hill. Yeah. As you against my sword, just like as you walk I'm down. Pretty. From, I'm a, yeah. As you walk down from the hill, there is a a sudden flurry of movement to your side. You are surprised as this lovely patch of grass that you thought was a patch of grass turns out to be the hairs on the back of a giant fucking spider. As this huge, huge spider, it's like five feet across. The abdomen is, no, the abdomen's like three feet across. The, the arms come out to eight feet across. Uh, l- pops out of this ground, out of this pit in the ground, leaping at you. Number of attacks per round. Tries um, to bite me. It tries to leap at you and bite you, but you pull your shield up in time to deflect. I the don't blow. have a shield, so my AC is twelve. Okay, 13. you manage to duck out of the but way. I, don't get, yeah, I yeah. mean, it rolled a three, so it completely misses. Yeah. But you manage to duck out of the way as this giant spider leaps at you. Please roll me an initiative Initial. roll. And we may see the last of Tyrus. Oh, I think that's bad. The the you, we might be seeing the last of Tyrus or your actual. Right, initiative. My initiative sucks. My initiative is sixteen. Okay, the spider uh, steps back a little bit, crouches down low, and then springs at you again. What did you say your AC was? Thirteen. It lands on you, sinking its little spidery teeth. Oh god, I should... Oh god, uh... Music's doubled. Sinking its little spidery teeth into you. Giant trap store spider, blah 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 blah. Uh, I need you to give me a saving throw versus poison. Fuck. GG. Even with my excellent poison save, it's not going to do it. How much damage do I take from the puncture wounds? I'm looking for my dice. You take a measly two points of damage from the bite. And the poison kills me. And the poison and gives you another easy. two points of damage. Okay. Are you okay. dead yet, Tyrus? I'm not dead. I'm not dead. But that undoes like two days worth of waiting. Oh, no. I'm at three out of eight. So I spring to action. It's that's close. It's like sink its teeth into me. Yeah, like it. So it's... I crit it in the face with a bastard sword. <laughs> that's that's what happens right now. Holy shit! Did you? Is that? Uh... That's a natural nineteen. I don't have. I'm level one. I don't have any modifiers. But tell me that's a crit. For the love of God, tell me that's a crit. This is a large creature, right? You said large spider. It's it is a large creature. Yes, I'm just looking. And up tell me that that's a hit. Tell me. Sorry, sorry, tell me that's a crit. It's a crit. Boom! 22 damage. Holy shit. You do 2d8 on large creatures? I got a bastard. I'm just like wielding this five foot blade two handed. I like remove the pinchers from my bicep as I bring four feet of steel crashing down on this large creature. That's how you pop a spider. 22 all right so you whap it you sever two of its limbs two of its legs cut deeply into its thorax the spider reels in pain and terror blood squirting all over the place as you roll initiative for the next round and i spiders don't have a regular nervous system (laughs) i don't know do they have ears i roar loudly in its face nonetheless okay and the try to spider scare it off. goes. It slowly backs away from you, taking withdrawal action so as not to provoke an attack of opportunity. 
and scuttles backwards down into the little hole that it had been before. And you notice how it nestles into this pit that you wouldn't expect the spider to be able to fit in, where just its eyes are above and its body. And this time it's got two of its little legs holding up um, above the pit in a defensive position. I withdraw slowly, still wielding my big sword overhead and start moving as I walk away, or start, like, pick up pace once I'm out of range of this okay. little trap. The the spider back. seems content to let you le- uh, flee. It seems to not want to tangle with you anymore. Yeah, let's call it what, what it is. I hope there's no, like, overtime damage. I'm a little baffled at what you did there with the poison damage, but I'm worried there's more to come, so I'm scampering back to my cabin and hoping I don't die. No, giant trapdoor spiders do not do a lot of poison damage. Uh, yeah silly spider okay. so I scampered back to my cabin and you I'm scamper. probably ashamed to tell Mouse what happened uh, yeah you come back you're limping a little bit you've got these giant like bite marks on your body Mouse tilts his head to the side oh wait hold on a sec I never did it get a saving throw versus death versus my crit it didn't uh, that is a fail, but it is size large. If your weapon is size medium, it, you just do d6 severity. I guess let's roll that first. So laggage. Laggage. Rolling the dice. Rolling the dice. No, no nothing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm defeated. No XP. No XP. No HP. Life's hard out there for. Uh, what do you mean you're defeated? The spider withdrew first. Via Did the really, rules of engagement. Really, I get XP for that. Yeah, you. Yeah. The spider ran away from yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I beat this. The spider cowered in fear. I critted its legs off. Yeah, That's I mean, it, see what I critted off. You didn't crit anything off. Oh, oh god! I don't know on a spider what the heck that is, but it's probably a leg. Well, you you did cut off a couple of legs, so you're. Yeah. I might grow back, but. So I, yeah, I tell myself that as I'm staggering back into my hut. Um, Sitting down and like panting and sweating and trying to play it cool in front of Mouse. Oh my God. He was probably, yeah. There's a, so on this encounter table, there's a a 30% chance for the the encounter to be an uncommon creature, like a 58% Mm -hmm. chance for it to be common. And you are four for four rolling on the uncommon encounter table. But in my, I mean, but all I have is what I've experienced. So I'm assuming that these are common encounters. I'm like, fuck yeah, this is the place. This is, I'm like right at home right now, actually. You tried to portray this as a like sunshiny, happy go lucky countryside that terrorists would hate. But so far, you know, fucking vultures mm-hmm. and prides of lionesses, poisonous spiders. Mm-hmm. I'm right at home. All right. The next day, as you rest up. So do I I don't gain HP, do I? You don't gain HP. Um so he's not a proficient I mean that was no a combat is a strenuous activity. Yeah. Right? Combat's yeah. a strenuous activity. Um, so I'm still at three HP. I got these secret spider wounds in me that I'm trying to hide from Mouse. So but he, he comes to tend your wounds, and it's clear that things have gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he sighs. Um, it's like nasty, puckered up wounds with like mm-hmm. red, like veins visible. Yeah, there's That's like a weird pus thing. like oozing out of you. <laughs> the next day, as you get up to try and go outside, he bars your entry, your exit. And shakes his head and points back at the the ground. Pantomime sleeping. I sing all day just to piss him off. I practice my screaming. I pra- yeah. I I'm hoping that Tyrus can make it far enough west to join up with the uh, shenanigans cast because he's practi- he's practicing his metal singing right now. Oh God. Oh God. And a new style of music called grunge core that he's pioneering. <laughs> and that goes on for hours 
and Mouse okay. still has his hearing, but no tongue to tell me to shut up. So while this is happening, you hear this large... I'm still wearing my, my studs, by the way. There's a... I still got the spikes. Noise as something thuds heavily onto the, the rooftop of this little shack, and then another, and another, and another, and another, and another. And I, you hear, I sarcastically keep singing as I stare Mouse in the eyes. Uh, no, this is things landing on the rooftop. Um, it sounds like the weight of maybe six large creatures. And looking up through the what little holes you can see in the roof, there's there's definitely a bunch of large things moving around the rooftop. You can hear the 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 roof creak underneath it, underneath the the weight I, of whatever these I are. I stand up and pick up my sword. Okay. And snap at Mouse. He. I draw my sword. And hold it like a baseball bat mm -hmm. in front of the doorway, sort of looking around. I guess I stop making noise. He can't even make shit noises though. He goes. Oh. <sighs> yeah, it's it's awkward. Um, how do you what? How do you deal with this? How do you deal with these things? I, how, I, I, I mean, I guess I, in game terms, I prepared an action to hit anything that walks through the door or okay. busts a hole overhead. So I'm standing in front of the door, facing the door with a two handed with a bastard sword in my hands. Oh, sure, something um, hops. Let me know if through. anything breaks in. No, something hops off the roof and starts walking around. You can peer through cracks in the, you know, the, the boards are not perfectly adjacent to one another. There's little cracks in between. And you see a griffin stalking around on the ground, like looking at the building. This is like, this scares the shit out. I've heard tale legends of these creatures, right? Yeah, and now there's at least like, six on your building and one prowling around fuck. the outside. Like, this is like, am I correct? The storm... The Stormtide Kingdom has griffin soldiers, right? That they mount in combat? Uh, they mostly use them for messengers, but occasionally they have been known to use them in combat. And they, are, they're the one, they're one. They're like the only holdout in the, in the, on, the con, on the continent, right? No, they... That have resisted Verasi's rule? They, they did resist for a while, but they could not resist for too long. Tide's End, their capital, is still holding back, but you've, they're, all their supplies have been cut off. Um, it's a huge city, and they've been starving for a while. The, their population was in the millions initially. Estimates are saying that the population has dwindled to about one million. You've, probably two thirds of the population has starved right now. Um, okay. But they're they're still holding. The, the island is holding up. The rest of their territory has fallen. Okay, but in any case, that's the only context I've heard griffins in, right? Yeah, and you, you've known that they are vicious creatures. They are not kind. Yeah, so I'm, okay. I mean, I've got my sword in hand. I've got an action ready, but I'm trying, I'm hoping they won't break through the, through the cabin. Through no, the walls. They, they stalk around. If you don't go outside, they spend an hour just kind of like looking around, sniffing. I keep it quiet and I try and look through any, like, if there's any, I try and find a hole in the wood or like maybe where there was a knot. And like mm -hmm. you know, you know what I mean. Like they're like it's like a shitty little shack, right? I can find. Yeah, you can find lots of places to to peer through. through. Do I see any humanoids or just the griffins? No, just the griffins. You don't see any signs. Or how, it sounds ratings. like there's like a half dozen. Is the impression mm -hmm. I'm getting from the noise? I seem to see a, like a couple at a time at the most. Yeah, there's definitely a bunch on the roof. Then there's a couple on the ground. It, it's hard to get an exact count, but they they stalk around for an Have hour. Ever... Okay. Before they... In California, have you ever been like raided by turkeys? I've been in a couple houses where wild turkeys are a problem. I'm sure it's an issue elsewhere, but um, like my my grandmother's house in Goleta, and then also my also my aunt's in the Bay Area. The the plants wild used turkeys. to say that there was a wild turkey running around their neighborhood way back okay. when. And they'll sometimes they'll get on the roof and they're like too dumb to get off, and they'll like. <laughs> screaming to their buddies that they're stuck on the roof and they're just it's it's turkeys are stupid well griffins are smarter than turkeys and they can fly so these guys are they okay. make a lot of racket they make a lot of racket they they prowl around for an hour or so and then they leave they don't, do they relation. feel like good aligned creatures to me i guess i can't i can detect good they do not to radiate good okay and i have an aura of dread that affects good creatures they, I, don't know, yeah. 
that I can't detect, but usually based on the reactions, I'm like, if something gets within 10 feet of me and it starts looking uncomfortable, mm -hmm. I can pretty much tell that it's a good creature. Yeah, the, there's no such reaction from these critters. Yeah. So um, we uh, have a parent have a shitty paranoid day. Yeah, it's it's a rough day, and I think Tyrus is getting the impression that these planes are not very friendly. Um, this seems to be a much more untamed wild land than where you come from. All right, so let's get some rest that night and establish a new plan the next okay. morning. Uh, sure. How, how long are you going to be resting for now? Uh, as soon as I gain my two HP for this day post uh, spider fight, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to mouse. Okay, so the the day goes. You wake up the next day. Uh, your food has run out at this point. You had e been eating the cooked meat of the sheep that you guys had slaughtered, and all the the dried cooked meat is is gone now. Um, uh, I try and find a pack or like a bag or something in the shack that I can put my nightshade concentrate in um i think oh well uh, what's his name um mouse uh, is a wizard with a ton of spell component pouches he pull, takes one of his pouches looks longingly he was, into it he's a prisoner right I mean, yeah so but he grabbed his it? shit on the way out i'm like mouse you don't have a tongue those are useless They'll, they will dry and wither before you have a chance he turns them. it upside down and empties out the pouch I, t I pause for a moment here and I stop his hand and I like try and catch his attention and look him in the eyes. He, he looks at you. I'm like, one day, mouse, we will, we will get you a new tongue. <laughs> but that will be long after that fucking bat guano or that fucking bat shit <laughs> rots and molds and crumbles to dust in he your pouch. He grunts, empties out the pouch and goes over to your shield and collects the powder in it ties it, and puts it on his belt. He now has the, the nightshade. All right, and I've got a disgusting shield that I'm afraid to touch. Just don't lick it. <laughs> Just don't lick it. OK. All right, and so first thing in the morning, I'm like, I'm like all right, we should, we should get out of here. We need to resupply and Okay. Is yeah. So I assume that he's just gonna follow me. He he follows I... along. How how far behind me does he tend to stay? Beside you. Okay. How big is his mouse? How tall? Size? He's height? not. He's like five six, and he's scrawny. He. He looks less malnourished than he did when you first met I mean, him. He, but the he's... fucker ate an entire sheep basically since since he was released from prison. He's put on a little bit of water weight. Let's be honest here. Yeah, he he definitely looks better than he did before. Yeah, but he's still a little kid. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So you have the day to go out and do as you please. Yeah. You see I'm no griffins for... when you poke your head out the door. I'm looking for a farmhouse. The, next, the nearest neighbor heading to the east. Okay. You walk for an hour and a half or so when you see off in the distance a small collection of houses. It looks to be maybe a, a village out in the plains. A village? Mm -hmm. You estimate there's probably 10 buildings, uh, probably like 10 families out here. Do I see any sort of fortified structure or manor house on a hill? No, there's no nearby. manor house or anything like that. Uh, you do see kind of uh, some very, very crude, um, what is it? They're just like wooden spikes out at a slight angle and a trench around it. But it's the sort of thing that would it would do well to, against, I don't know, it, it's more of like a symbolic 
defensive position than an actual useful one because a person could easily walk up in between them but it does present the sort of keep out thing that should keep wild animals at bay if they you know they, well, our animals can sense territory so they there's some little spikes sticking out at an angle um you uh, seeing this village you can also see off in the distance over there and over there there's people tending to their flocks with their dogs and their kill children and doing their thing um Inside the village, you can't make out any details, but you think you see some people moving about, but it's it's pretty far off. I'm going to want to stay away from the village, I think. Okay. And try and ambush, well... Yeah, I'm going to try and get a farmer alone in his field and have a go at this again. Sure. So I'll sort of tuck behind a hill. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I'm clearly wandering around the hills, so I maybe roll to see if they spot me. But I'm going to try and set it up so that I can catch an isolated farmer, okay. shepherd, if well, that's the case may be. While you're looking for a good ambush spot, you do see you do come around to the other side of the the village a little bit, just enough to notice that the other side, the eastern side of the village, has a few fields with crops in them. It looks to be mostly corn and wheat. Okay, so I descend down into the fields. Is there a road, or is this just open countryside? It's open countryside. There's no road to then, speak Have of. there not been fences between estates or anything like that? There have not been. Hmm. All right. So I head down into the, into the cornfield. What season? It's like fall. Yeah, it's autumn. So the, corn's, it, the corn's probably it's probably even above my own head. Yeah, the corn's 10 feet high at this point. Do I see a keep? Or not a keep, a, a house or a farmhouse or a... Yeah, the, there's a farmhouse, but it's all tucked together with the other buildings in the village. The, all the, It seems like the all the people live in like a little cluster and then they have their fields on the outsides of that little cluster. But it's like the afternoon, so there's uh -huh. people in fields? Are there people in this field? Uh, the, I mean, if there's someone in the cornfields, you wouldn't be able to spot them. But you and Mouse enter from... Let's pull up a map. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but we can delete it, whatever it is. Worship the nipple of Verasi. <laughs> what? Suck at her tainted teeth. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a... All right, so let's um, see the map, please. <laughs> Change oh, the subject. I didn't, I didn't. Okay, yeah, cool. Here you are. I hope chat saw what was drawn on the map before. It was just concentric circles. <laughs> That's the most, those are the most beautiful shapes that you, that have been drawn by men or machine. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes, indeed. So we have, um, and here, here's our little village of buildings. Um, I don't really know the exact positionings of them, but, you know, there's a few of them. There's a small church at the back, like a really small church. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're back here in these cornfields that stretch out like this with the rows going... So you had to circle all the way around to the backside to enter into the fields. I, I continue heading east, avoiding the village if I can. Uh, oh, if, is I thought you were going to ambush the village or a I person. Was, no, fuck the village. I mean, if I see a person, maybe I'll kill him. But okay, no, uh, you can easily avoid. avoid the, yeah, no one seems to have noticed you, and you avoid the village and continue heading eastward. Is the corn ripe? Just about. There are a few. Uh, corns that look ripe but most of them are not quite maybe maybe a couple more weeks a few corns uh does mouse have teeth mm -hmm. i hand him some corn he munches on it and i do the same as we continue heading east 
uh, generally towards uh, red red port red port but at a cautious pace okay so we're yeah I'm avoiding people except when they're alone and I can chop their heads off or they have a chance to crit me yeah uh, you come across a few more villages they seem to be spaced every few miles there's a village somewhere um, so you can continue just wandering and avoid them all if you'd like or you can descend into any of them um, but if you avoid them do I encounter any people along the way, or if I avoid No them? one's directly in your path, and you can always spot people coming from pretty far out, because it's open, plainsy hills. Yeah, so. when it gets to nightfall, I may change my plan. Okay. But I, we may even make it to Redport by, by dark. If by you nightfall. travel three miles an hour, uh, you could easily make it to Redport before dark. Yeah. If you If you so desire. You're probably not traveling at three. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe a little slower, but still. Yeah. We'll probably still make it there in that day. It's like 15 miles away, so you can easily make it there yeah, with a day of traveling. As you, as Redport looms in the distance, you see the, the tall, 10-story lighthouse keep that sits off the coast of Redport. You notice uh, a small road leading away from the city that goes through one village and then off into the, the distance. Um, so you can may take the road if you desire, or you can approach through the plains. We haven't seen any farmers in their yours. fields. Yeah, you've seen farmers in their fields, but you've, you've been able to keep your distance from them all. Uh, the common folks seem to be very busy with the with whatever tasks they have at hand and don't care to... Whatever trivialities. Yeah, they don't seem to care to, to chase down strangers through their places. Place gives me the willies. Um, mm -hmm. We approach within sight distance of Redport. Okay. Do you approach on the road, or I mean, yeah, that's the only entrance sure. to yeah, the, along the road to the city is along the road. Okay. As you walk along the road, you I are met if... with a wagon yeah. coming towards you. Um, you're How still many people. You're about a mile out from the city, uh, from the town. Uh, the wagon has a family on it. There's uh, a man, a woman, and three children in the back. All right, can I see the gates of Redport? Yeah, in the distance? It, it's still a mile out, but you can see it. Does it. Can I tell if the gates are open or closed? They seem to be open. All right, I stare down one of the kids and try and spook him. Not with any magic, just by staring him down as a six foot four metalhead. Uh, and continue walking along the road. Okay, so as the cart passes you, you notice the woman gets a little bit closer to the man and kind of like clutches onto his arm, uh, looks at you a little bit, and then makes an effort of looking straight ahead and ignoring you. Uh, and you hear the children whispering in the back way too loudly, not in like a good child whisper, but in like a, hey, brother, which everyone can overhear. Um, and you hear them say, I, I think that's the murderer. The, 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 the murderer that scared away uh, Lord Redwing. And the other kid's like, yeah, that's totally him. That's the evil murderer. murderer. I got a better nickname than Evil Murderer. I don't even think I've killed anyone. I don't think my character has killed anyone. He's facilitated some shitty, some shitty things. Okay. Um. Uh, anyways. Um. The the cart passes you without event, but the children seem to be terrified of you, and the the adult couple in the front tries to avoid eye contact with you. Um. You may approach the city as you desire. Uh, the town, really. All right. I think in my clothes, it's pro I probably got a cloak. Uh, sure. Right. Yeah, you got a traveling cloak. I think I've got a cloak and my leather pants, so that's what I consider clothes. So I'll pull my cloak over my my studded armor. So I probably yeah, I probably look like I'm overheating, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, I'm still huge, but somewhat less conspicuous and i guess i'll walk right in the town with mouse in tow 
Okay. If the gates are open, I'm just gonna yeah. beeline it, not make a fuss. How many guards do I see at the gate? You see two hoplite guards at the gate. They're using uh, partisans is the weapon that they have. They're long spears with uh, reach two. Um, so as you approach, one of them kind of moves in the path and goes, Ho oh there, traveler. He actually stops me. Mm -hmm. I look up from under my hood. Uh, who are you and what is your business in our fair town? I look to Mouse beside me and then quickly back to the guard. Um, Mouse doesn't say anything. And I say... Uh, I... What's the matter, son? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> I am sorry. I'm not used to... I, I am a knight, I say, from the west. Sir... Uh, Sir Bellows. Sir Bellows? He looks you up and down. And I give you don't a look much like smile. a knight to me. Who's this I'm old like, man? Your squire? I'm 6'4 with a big ass sword I'm strapped to my back. I mean, but you're also like have a cloak on and a hood up, and you're yeah. kind of. Mm -hmm. It's hard times. And I give a shrug. Hmm. He looks at the other guard. Give me a other, charisma check. A white tooth smile. Uh, I don't see them fleeing from my presence, so I'm assuming they're not good aligned. They're just average Joes. Just working for the man. Yeah. Okay. 26. Yeah. I mean, I, Looks I, you I up and a, down. I got, I've got a lovely smile. He shrugs and says, okay. Be careful. There's a, a murder on the loose. Some servant of some eastern goddess. That's terrifying. Yeah. Well, he's been a, a real problem. Hacked up a bunch of people, set a bunch of prisoners on the loose. He brought down his evil gods and even made Lord Redwing flee in terror. And you know Lord Redwing, the bravest man I've ever met. If you find this murderer, uh, Sir Knight, rip his head off for me. And he gives you like a, a salute with his pole arm. I salute him back. I don't have an etiquette proficiency or anything like that, so it's... Oh. Okay. I try and play it off like I haven't done a salute in a while. But I think I probably just made it through... I don't know. What was the Varasi military like when I was coming up the ranks? Uh, was, it, as, was it established, or was I just like... No, it was definitely established. Like, and as a paladin, you were in a, a subclass order that was more regimented and stricter sure. than anyone so I, else. I made it through basic training i can i can you can give off. a proper salute absolutely yeah yeah cool you have made it into the town what would you like i to will do? head towards the dock district okay who dropped the beat out you move through the town uh, you get a lot of strange looks from people uh, people seem to be how would you say, uh, nervous in and around town, more so than the last time. Uh, and as you get down towards the dock district, you see the familiar prison that you escaped from, and sitting out in front of it are the heads of six prisoners, or former prisoners, on stakes that have been, like, stuck out of the... It looks like someone has gone in and, like, cemented stakes onto the prison... Uh, onto the little jail cell and then just put people's heads on the stakes. It looks like a very fresh construction. Couldn't have done better myself. Mm -hmm. um, you so make I, it to I the, avoid the jail, Even though I have the keys. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. So I I think I've when we're when I'm alone with uh with Mouse somewhere in the dark district, I'll mm -hmm. lean in and say, I 
know the name of a captain who delivers a food to uh, to the to the keep to the lighthouse, and I sort of nod vaguely out to out to the the island in the bay or in the ocean. He takes a look up and down the lighthouse and looks at you, shrugs. Come. Come nightfall, I think that nightshade should make its way in with the provisions, in with the water. He nods his head slowly. Until then, we've got time to rest up. Give him a pat on the back. It's time to fill your belly. (laughs) And we find a pub nearby. I don't have any money. Uh, A sketchy pug pub. Okay. You enter a rough and tumble waterfront tavern. There are sailors just kind of laughing at body jokes. There's a an exotic half elf dancer uh, who's has a, a large bronze collar around her neck, dancing on the stage before you. Um, her ankles look like they had shackles on them recently, and her clothes are tattered by the the sailors who have been pawing at her all day. I approach the bartender. He, after, you know, he, when he's free, he comes over and says, well, what can I get for the two of you? Uh, All the food you got, I say, and I start, I undo a, a dagger from my from my belt, from my like shoulder belt or whatever. Okay. Um, not, I don't loosen it in sheath. I like remove the sheath from the belt mm-hmm. and hand it to him. And I say, "Fresh off the fo- off the forge." I say, "It's the closest to gold I got." I'll take and it. Give him, he give him a wink. He takes the dagger, no questions asked, uh, and brings you a plate of roasted spiced potatoes and more lamb. You've been eating lamb for almost a week now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but lamb and spiced potatoes it is for you. It's nutritious. Actually, I'm it's lamb steak. Myself. You, He brings you this plate of food. Okay, that's why the lamb looked sketchy on Instagram. It's actually or that's beef. Why, that's why the steak looks sketchy on Instagram. It is actually oh, beef, is- but it's it's well done beef. They don't, they don't cook their things medium rare here. I don't understand. Why is it Chucky's not a vegetarian? What? He's I, a what? I know. All I've seen He's him eat is like us this whole time. Yeah, all I've seen him eat is these like big chunks of cheese that have been covered with like egg and breaded breadcrumbs and stuff, but just like big blocks of cheese and other vegetables. Not that cheese is a vegetable, but you know. <laughs> And let me tell you, the meat here is fucking good. I had a ton of really, really delicious sausages. And maybe it's just because I haven't had a sausage in six months, but they were really good. <laughs> I mean, what? Anyway. Um, you the lamb your... sausages? The sausages are good. They're really good here. Okay. All right. What do you do? So, uh chill in the tavern for a couple of hours and wait for nightfall, I think. Um, okay. Actually, hmm. I got a name of the ship. I think that'll be enough. So I'm going to wait till it's dark. Sure. I should have uh, grabbed blind fighting instead of the silly singing proficiency. Blind fighting takes two, though. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, hmm. So does anything happen in the tavern over the course of the afternoon? Or am I able to lie low? You can lie low. Uh, you get the impression that the dancer belongs to the inn. Uh, belongs to the tavern. And it is just a tavern, not an inn. Is uh, slavery legal on this continent? Absolutely. Or You've seen plenty shit? of slaves walking around um, with big hmm. bronze collars around their necks. That's strange. Even in the east, there's not that... There's no slavery, right? Yep. Maybe under Varasi's rule, but... Yeah, it's acceptable in some areas, usually for victim, uh, you know, former soldiers of enemy armies. But here it seems that slavery is quite prolific. 
Um, the evening pass. The day passes and evening comes. You may do as you please. I give a nod to Mouse, and we take our leave of this place. Okay. You step out of the tavern, uh, back to the docks. And I will pace the docks looking for the name... Um, Fair Maiden. Sure. I assume that it leaves at dawn to bring, like, fresh fresh food and water or whatever to the mm -hmm. to the lighthouse to the keep but i have no idea you is the lighthouse on the lighthouse is on the keep right on the, the island the lighthouse is the keep yeah it, it's called lighthouse keep um it is just one large 10-story building that juts out of a, a rocky island a thousand feet off the coast it has a, a small dock that protrudes where it can be resupplied um so yeah, so you walk along the docks, you get all the way to the north side where you can right up next to Lighthouse Keep where you spot the Fair Maid. It is a, a very small boat, much smaller than you would have expected. It is powered by oars, uh, it does not have a sail on it. It's maybe 50, <clears throat> 50 feet long? No, what is this? This is like 30 feet. 20 feet? I can't. I can't judge distance right now. Been talking in meters too us, much. We're looking at a 2G projection mm -hmm. of, of your universe. So it's like 25 feet long, 10 feet wide. It's got room for four oarsmen. Uh, to call a person a captain of this ship would be almost <laughs> condescending. Maybe condescending, depending on the person. Captain Steak is probably a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, is this boat guarded at night? Uh, I don't think the, the docks are guarded so is... by by hoplites, but this boat itself is not. So I'm looking at the hill down at the down at the docks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you're on the docks or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Do the guards let me pass, or if I yeah, the, the guards pass. are just kind of patrolling the dock area in general. Okay. Um, I approach the boat I, and then look around. Are there any guards within sight of me? There are. Um, if you were to I walk see? on the boat, someone would surely notice you, but you don't know if they would care. Yeah, I'll walk on the boat and try and look for a barrel of water. Um, I'm being vaguely stealthy. I mean, I'm not clinging around in metal armor or anything like that. Uh, but I'm still a six foot four dude. Mouse has mm -hmm. stayed off the boat and is keeping um, to shore and a little bit away from you. Uh, and you hear a, a shouting as you climb onto the boat. A, hey! Hey, you there! And you look up to see two hoplites walking towards you. On the boat or from the docks? From the docks. I guess let's roll initiative. Okay. Um, please do so. Um, that's worst case scenario. I don't think I've, so I don't, I mean, I draw my sword if they are aggressive, but otherwise I will not draw it. Okay. I'm slow to the punch anyways. Okay. I don't know. Do I spot, I mean, like, am I on the ship as this is happening? Yeah, you're on the boat looking around for water when you hear them look over to see them. The two guys are jogging towards you. You look and down the other way towards the dock, you see another two hoplite guards heading away from you, not having noticed the commotion yet. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, they, they jog up to you if you don't do anything, or jog up to the edge uh, of the dock where the boat is and go, who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Is Ma Mouse is still on the dock, right? Yeah, he's behind them. They just walked right past him. I keep, I hold my tongue until um, so they go before they seem to be so Mouse is taken by surprise a little bit uh, take, Mouse like, hasn't acted time. yet you don't know mm -hmm. what his thoughts are what do you do 
Uh, I think I'm I'm a little, I'm just like staring up at the guards. Like I mean I'm I'm in on clearly on this boat. I'm just staring at the guards. I haven't said anything. It's their move. I mean I guess I'm sort of waiting to see. One of them kind of points his spear not like he's not like he's stabbing you but just waving his spear. You're like this is <clears throat> what are you doing on the fair maid? The ship is for resupplying lighthouse keep and it's not to be played with by strangers. I take a limp towards him. Okay. You hear a and clatter from down the dock as Mouse drops his walking stick. Um, I say, I was, I was just looking for my, for my houseboat, and I start to, like, stagger a little closer towards him. The guard's um, side. I've, got, I've probably got open wounds or bruised ribs or whatever. Eh, I don't know what it's dark. You've got clothes on. I'm down HP, so I'm, I probably don't need to fake it much to look like I'm battered or intoxicated one of the hoplites sighs and shakes his head and goes another drunk get the hell off that ship the other one is a little bit more reserved uh keeps his weapon in one hand aimed at you but you know. i've still got my cloak pulled around me but there's some awkward lumps and i'm mm -hmm. big so i'll like stagger past them not draw my weapon okay or go my turn and hope that sure um yeah as you get off the dock, you catch sight of Mouse, who I is waving his even, hands I, I, I strange I don't even look at him. I don't even... Okay. I can't even make eye contact with Mouse right now. I'm a little ashamed, and I know what he's up to. Okay. You see him waving his hands around and pulling out this I weird, you know, some sort of, like, glowing incense stick. Um waving it around you're just seeing this out of your peripheral you're trying not to pay attention yeah, look, i guess looking at the docks i say hey would you look at that the one guard turns the one that didn't really the one that was a uh, passing off as a drunk turn look at him and i try and like close i close my eyes and nod my head towards mouse the guy stares transfixed the other guard goes hey jason jason god damn it jason and turns to look at mouse as well and they're both stopped staring directly at him, just kind of, huh? I look to shore to see if the other guards have heard anything, the ones that went to go investigate. No, they're still retreating down into the distance. In fact, you, you can barely even see that they're there anymore. All right, then I draw my, my bastard sword two-handed mm -hmm. and try and decapitate the first of the guards. Okay, you, you can auto-kill them since they are basically held. If you'd like, you can just walk up and throat slit, or you can try and actually hack them to bits with your sword, but that will require an attack roll. Uh, I no, I guess I'll slit their throats with my huge S sword awkwardly again. Oh, I guess I'll use a dagger then. And I'll... Okay. I'll slit their throats and they throw them into the water. Their bodies collapse onto the dock. You roll them into the water. Um, now stops his incantation. <sighs> breathes a heavy sigh. Um, you notice the incense in his hand is pretty is just pretty much gone, and he blows it away and gives a shrug. We need to get you some more of that incense. He nods. I climb aboard the fair maiden and try and find the water barrels. Have they been loaded yet, or are they not yet aboard? You do not see any supplies on board. You do see that there is a small, um, it's like a, there's like a little trap door that lifts up, and down below there's a an area underneath the the deck of the boat. You can, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's like a little I don't know what you would call it, the the basement of the boat. Yeah, the hull. Yeah, the yeah the inside the hull there's an area. But there's nothing loaded yet. Mm -mm. Uh, also, this doesn't look like it's big enough for people to, or for supplies to be down there. Like it's uh, at the at the deepest point because it's it's where the boat comes down to the. It's not meant for supplies. This looks like a little trap door to go down for maintenance. It's like a, a little. I I, I point there to Mouse, and I give a shrug. He gives a shrug, and motions for you to go. I. Crouch and crawl below deck. 
he um, am i pretty sure sh- okay i'm worried about the body i don't know i'm dumb i don't care about the bodies let's hope they float away let's hope there's currents i'll crawl below de- deck okay does uh, mouse crawl after or no he, he comes puts the trap door on top of you and then you hear i feet. stop him and i point to the pouch at his waist <laughs> he takes it off hands it to you puts the trap door on and beats his feet away and back on the docks and why don't we take our second break there and we'll see what happens on the other side of our break yes indeed indeed all right see you guys later bye bye